Ha Harry and Walter. Come on, Walter, Harry said. Let's go. Harry put his tractor in gear and off he went. Walter put his tractor in gear and off he went. Wait up, called Harry. Harry was four and three quarters. He had lived next door to Walter all his life. Walter was 92 and a half. He had lived in many places. Side by side, Harry and Walter zoomed across the grass between their houses. Harry said, Vroom, vroom! Ha, 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 said Walter. Sometimes Harry and Walter played games. Wait, want to, want to play croquet? asked Walter. Okay, said Harry. Which stick do you want? Blue, said Walter. Okay said Harry. I'll take the yellow one. Harry and Walter hit all the colored balls through every hoop. Then Harry said, Walter, do your tomato plants have tomatoes yet? Let's go see. Let's go see. Harry ran to Walter's garden. Tomatoes! He shouted. Catching up with Harry, Walter said, But they're still green! When the tomatoes turned red, Harry and Walter each ate one. Right there in Walter's garden, the juice dribbled down their chins. When the leaves on the trees turned yellow and fell, Harry and Walter raked them into piles between their houses. Winter came and snow fell. Walter cleared a path from his house to Harry's so they could still visit every day. Harry and Walter did jigsaw puzzles and played board games. They drew pictures for each other of tractors and tomatoes in piles of leaves. You draw real good, Walter, said Harry. Walter said, you draw well too, Harry. And if you keep it at it, you'll get even better. Harry showed Walter how to turn a car into a robot and march it across the floor. Walter showed Harry how to turn into a piece of paper into a bird and make it soar through the air. This is hard, said Harry. I can't do it. Keep trying, Walter said. You'll get it, I know you will. One day, when it wasn't too cold for the young boys and old men, Harry and Walter made a snowman. Walter, Harry said, you're my best friend. You're my best friend too, Harry. Let's be friends until I'm as old as you, okay? Walter rubbed his chin, thinking. Then he said, I'd like that, Harry. I'd like that very much. When spring came, all the snow melted, and so did the snowman. Someone hammered a sign into the grass in front of Harry's house. For sale, the sign read. Or the sign, oh yeah. Walt, Walter frowned and Harry cried. I don't want to move. Things change, Walter said. I, mu I might have to move someday too. The day the moving van came, Harry and Walter were so sad they couldn't even say goodbye. Harry's new house had more grass than the old house. Harry rode his truck up and down between his house and the next door. Vroom, he said. Vroom. But riding without Walter wasn't much fun. Harry's new house had a vegetable garden in the backyard, but the tomatoes didn't taste as good as Walter's. Harry's new house even had its own tree house. One day, the leaves were starting to fall. Harry climbed a ladder up, up, up. Inside the inside his treehouse, he turned his car into a robot. He turned his pieces of paper into birds, just like Walter had shown him. He flew his paper birds one by one out the window. They fluttered like dead leaves to the ground. But he kept trying to make a better bird. Soon, one of his birds did fly a little bit better than the others. Still, Harry missed Walter so much. He was about to toss out his last bird when... One of the paper birds flew back up. Harry looked down from his treehouse window. Walter! Harry exclaimed. What are you doing here? I 
was taking a little walk when I saw your birds. All, all the way from your house to here? Walter pointed to an apartment building up the street. That's where I live now. It was time for me to move too. Harry climbed down his ladder and hugged Walter so hard they almost fell over. Walter laughed. Like I said, Harry, things change. Yes, they do. Oh. Yes, they do, Harry said. I was four and three, then I was five. And now I'm six. Do you want to come and rake leaves with me? I'm almost 94, Walter said. Too old for raking leaves. He leaned down and picked up two perfect leaves, one red and one yellow. But there's still something else we can do with the leaves. But there's something else we can do with the leaves. Would you like me to show you? Sure. Uh, uh, come on then, Harry. Let's go. Harry took Walter's hand because some things don't change. And off they went. Best of friends. The, the end. end.